Hi guys, so I thought I would do an update today for you. Oops, hold on, the camera's moving. Um, I wanted to do an update about what's been going on, why my posting has been kind of crazy the last few weeks, and it probably is going to be for a couple more because life has gotten so, so crazy over here. So since we got back, or since right starting at spring break, Jeffrey got sick, then we got home. Um, yeah, Jeffrey had strep the first day of spring break, of course. And then I kid you not, Ro Jeffrey stopped his antibiotics like he was done with his treatment. And then Robert ended up getting a sinus infection or what we thought was a sinus infection. I am at this point, don't think it is a sinus infection because he literally finished his co course of antibiotics and started vomiting and has been vomiting for, we are into day five right now. We are actually going to the doctors in a little bit. But in the meantime, everyone else has gotten sick. Ed got sick while we were on vacation, and that lasted for a couple weeks. I ended up getting it a little bit last week while, um, towards the end of the week, I think it was more. I was so run down. I was having a sore throat, but that happens to me when I'm super, super tired and my allergies are really bad, which if you, if you do not get affected by allergies, I'm so happy for you, but allergies have been horrible this year. So... Unfortunately, Robert's been throwing up. The weird thing is, is he's throwing up like once every 12 hours. And then now it's like every 24 hours. So we're really not sure what's going on. He has no, um, no fever at all, which is, I mean, great. But at the same time, you're like, what is going on? He's been super lethargic. Um, today he is better. He is eating more and he is drinking more today. Still not where he was, but I mean, for like two days, he barely ate anything, but yet was still throwing up. Um, and he wasn't drinking either. He's lost three pounds in the past week, which is horrible, uh, especially for a five-year-old, not exactly what you want. So we're actually going to go to the doctors today. I'm hoping we get some answers. I will do an update video on that after, but I wanted to do this because I, getting videos out lately has been kind of difficult because I am just dealing with sick kids. Of course, he's throwing up in the middle of the night. So I'm waking up and having to, you know, strip him down, strip his bed down, encourage vomit to go down the sink it is do laundry i have laundry i think my washer and dryer have been going for like four days straight now at this point it's ridiculous but anyways it's been kind of crappy um everyone else has been better i think we're all over it um it's just robert at this point i'm hoping it's really nothing and maybe he just had a virus that is just kicking his butt and hopefully we're through but i really just want him to be checked today because it is just going on way too many days at this point um but yeah so that's been our fun adventure here everyone else is fine Mia ha shockingly didn't get any yeah so Mia thankfully I think is through the sleep regression because she's eight and a half months old now so I think she never got that four month sleep regression that's usually very common she never got that she got it a little later but yeah so that's where we've been it's been kind of crazy I am uh, I just spent like the last hour while Mia was napping in the boys room disinfecting it because Robert got vomit everywhere last night and it has just been it's been a horrible weekend but I'm hoping we're on the mend Jeff uh, Robert has definitely got more energy now which is awesome um yeah so we're just kind of gearing up for Mother's Day and our trip away Ed and I are going away not this coming weekend which is Mother's Day weekend we're going the following weekend we're so excited so everyone needs to be better. I'm going regardless. They're staying with my mom and my mother-in-law, so they will be fine. But I'm like, just don't get sick. Don't make me sick before I go. So that is where we're at. That's kind of, I just want to give you guys a quick update and let you know that my videos are going to be very sporadic for the next few weeks. I think until school gets out because there's just so much going on between appointments and therapy ending. Jeffrey has his last therapy today. Oh, it's exciting. It's like a bittersweet, um, but I'm going to do a whole update on Jeffrey in a little bit. I'm probably going to do it the next weeks or so because he turns six on Thursday. I'm like, I can't believe it, but I have a lot to update you on, on him. We just had his IEP meeting. Everything's fine. It's fantastic, but there's a lot to update on Jeffrey. So that will be a whole separate video. But as for now, I'm going to go finish getting ready so we can take Robert to the doctors and hopefully get some answers on why he has been so sick and hopefully we are on the mend because I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so tired. I was up until like one o'clock dealing with the vomit and laundry and by the time I fell back asleep because I was like, of course your mom brain goes and you're like, oh my God, what is wrong with him? And I just couldn't fall back asleep and then, you know, 
everybody wakes up at five and we're open for the day. So hopefully we can get some answers and I'm hoping that we get back before Mia needs her next nap. She just woke up from her nap. So I'm hoping we can get back before her next nap and maybe mommy can lay down too. Maybe Robert will like want to take a nap. That's another thing. Robert has been wanting to nap all of a sudden since we got back or since we were at Mer in Myrtle. Robert dropped a nap like six months ago. So the fact that he's like, he needs a nap. Like he's been napping at school and even sometimes he'll come home and he'll need a nap before bed and then still sleep through the night. So like he's so sleepy. It's weird, but hopefully I will get some answers. I will do another update. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to get to, I'm not going to get to edit this video until after I get back. So you know what? After we're done at the doctor, I will add on a clip of what is going on with Robert and let you guys know. So hopefully we can get some answers because I'm just so done. I'm so done right now. I'm so done with the sickness. I feel like we've been sick since February off and on. Everyone's been sick. So let's get some answers because mama's getting tired. <laughs> so I will let you guys know what's going on with Robert and yeah. All right guys. So I realized I still had not updated you on how Robert's appointment went. So we went and the doctor checked him. Thankfully, like all of his vitals were fine. He still didn't have a fever. And she checked his ears, and at first she was like, kind of doesn't look infected, but it does at the same time. So she like looked deeper, and actually, it, he has such a, it's so deep of an infection that it was actually hard to see at first. So she really got in there and was able to see that it was so in there. Um, but it was really infected on one side. I think she said it was the right side, which kind of makes sense because he has complained off and on that the ears hurt, but he'll like say it hurts. And then like, you'll ask him a little while later and they go, no, it's fine. Um, while we were on vacation, he said it hurt. But when we got back and we went to the doctors for the sinus infection, obviously the doctor checked his ears and his ears looked fine, but obviously because it was so deep, um, he may have just missed it, even though he did get on amoxicillin for the um, besides infection, but it just did not help the ear. So we were on a stronger antibiotic. The doctor even said, um, the doctor even said it could have caused his vomiting because it is so deep. It could have been throwing off his equilibrium. So I noticed the one time I did see him throw up, uh, he actually had gotten really upset right before he said, he said he had a headache and then he thrashed around like this and then threw up. So when I told her that she goes, that sounds like exactly what probably happened and what happening in the at night is because it's happening like a couple hours after he's fallen asleep he's getting into that deep sleep and probably rolling over and the motion of rolling over is actually causing him to throw up which because he's not feeling you know his head is all thrown off he's not wanting to eat he's not wanting to drink so we really were pushing fluids today I was doing that even before we went in there and she was a little concerned about his weight loss because I think I said he's lost a couple pounds. I think it was three pounds. I think it was 3.2 exactly, which is a lot for a little kid. I mean, he's only five. So we definitely were trying to push food today, but not too much because I didn't want him to get so sick. So we, we actually ended up getting some Gatorade and watering it down, which has helped him so much. He had a lot, not like a lot, but he had like, he finished that cup and then he had something else. Okay, honey, hold on. Um, so it, like, he's drank a lot and he's actually eaten too. His mood has been better. He's actually, this might sound silly, but he's actually argued with us and, like, had a meltdown because he was upset he didn't get his way, which makes me think that he's feeling better. So hopefully we're on the mend. We're actually setting up his room. I put a bucket next to his bed. So hopefully if he does get sick, he'll use the bucket this time. He didn't use the bucket last night. Um, it was there, but he had the tent on his bed, which he said he doesn't want the tent on his bed anymore. And he actually threw up on it last night, so I had to take it off. So he doesn't want it on tonight. So the bucket will be right there, so I think he'll be able to see it if he does get sick. Though he is feeling so much better. He's even, he's been peeing a ton, which is great. And he also had a bowel movement, which he hasn't had one in almost three days now, three, four days. So I feel like everything is kind of getting better. Like I said, he's been playing well. He hasn't felt tired except for right now which is just about six o'clock so he should be tired they usually go to bed by 6 30 so the fact that he's tired is fine so hopefully we're on the mend um and like i said the videos are going to be kind of sporadic but um i'm going to try to do what i can but i think i need at least i'm hoping i can regroup today <laughs> so that is all for now i hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you next time